guys welcome back to our channel in today's video i'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial right here it's a very simple halo eye i mean i didn't use the techniques that i normally would when doing a halo eye but i did put some shimmer in the center you know to kind of give it the illusion that it's a halo eye and this is more of like a halo eye for a lazy person or someone that doesn't really know how to do it or someone that just doesn't have the patience to be blending the inner and the outer corner I feel like this is just perfect because basically a halo eye but in a much more like simpler way if that makes sense anyways guys before we get started into the tutorial portion of today's video if you're not yet a part of our t-squad family and you'd like to join don't forget to subscribe in the link below and also don't forget to turn on that post notification bell right next to it so youtube alerts you when i do upload which is three times a week every single week monday wednesday and friday at 8 a.m pacific standard time sometimes i don't upload at that time exactly um, but you guys will have three videos a week monday wednesday and friday also don't forget to follow me on instagram facebook and snapchat the links are in the description box below anyways guys if you want to learn how to recreate this simple halo eye pink very i want to say very like girly you know what i mean this is just not me this right here is not me i like looks that are more dark and vampy and intense and you know what i mean but today i really wanted to play with pink I actually wanted to play with peach, but I didn't have a peach color, so this is what I came out with. But I still like it, I still dig it. But anyways, if you want to learn how to recreate this look, or if you just want to know the products on my skin, then let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so we're going to get started, and I think I'm going to start off with the face today. I'm going to start with primer, and for primer, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just going to go ahead and take some and apply some right here on my cheek area. Hey guys and we're gonna move on to foundation i'm gonna take the covergirl true blend matte make foundation the shades are gonna be in the description box below in case you guys are interested as well as all of the products that i used in today's video as well i'm gonna take my favorite sponge this is the elf sponge this is my favorite and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out real quick as i always say in every video the products that i'm using in today's video I most likely already have like a review and a wear test on them. So in case you guys are interested in that, all you have to do is search my name and the name of the product and it's gonna pop up. Okay, so now that we have the foundation on, I'm gonna move on to concealer and I'm gonna take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. This is a brand new one. It just came out not too long ago. Uh, but anyways, what have you guys been up to? what are you guys doing today happy monday by the way i know it's like back to school back to work you know i like mondays i feel like mondays are like a fresh new start and i know a lot of people don't really vibe with mondays i actually do vibe with mondays i actually like mondays by the way i did announce the giveaway winner for the highlighter on my instagram she has not dm'd me so dm me after 24 hours because the post does stay there for like 24 hours uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a different winner. I did tell you guys that you guys have to be following me on Instagram for the giveaways just because I do announce them on my Insta stories. And then if you guys didn't see Friday's, no, Saturday's video because I didn't upload a video on Friday, I uploaded on Saturday. I'm giving away this foundation here for five of you guys, so go check that video out in case you guys are interested. I've been obsessing over this concealer, you guys. It is so freaking beautiful and it reminds me of the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. To warm up my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring some life back into... I hate not nose contouring, you guys. I suck at it. Anybody else, I just I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Go ahead and take my Lexi 512 Small Contouring Brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this into my skin. I'm curious to know: Do you guys watch my videos while you guys get ready as well, or do you guys just I don't know watch them while you're eating, while you're cooking? When do you watch my videos? I'm curious. Just further blending the contour out with my sponge to kind of mesh everything together. Guys, I am officially in my third trimester. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last month's video, but I am 
officially in my last trimester a couple months away from giving birth and i don't know how i feel you guys like i am tired 24 7 like it is insane right now it is super late at night when i'm filming this video to get it up for you guys on monday tomorrow monday yeah i'm just exhausted you know day and night like i cannot function all right guys moving on to setting the skin i'm gonna go ahead and take the rimmel stay matte powder i do have mine in the shade transparent i'm gonna go ahead and take this powder and set my skin i don't know if you guys have tried this powder what do you guys think of it i just feel like it's a super mattifying uh, powder you know Now I'm gonna move on to the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to take the banana shade here called Lyric and with my sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and set again underneath my eyes. This is just going to help brighten up this area right here, which I actually really, really like this powder. I just feel like it brightens up everything, you know? I'm gonna move on to bronzer. I'm gonna pick up the NYC bronzer in the shade Sunny. Take this with my BH Cosmetics 114 brush. Just give my skin a little bit of a life. Now that we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and take a contour brush and I'm gonna pick up um, the shade Shadow Play from the Kat Von D palette. I take that uh, banana shade one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and clean right here. All right, guys. Now we're gonna move on to blush, and for blush, I'm gonna take the Catrice blush box. This one is in the shade Golden Coral, which I'm pretty sure you guys know I, I really like. So now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow portion of the video and I'm going to take my Revolution Pro um, Eye Elements Eye Primer. This one is in the shade Core. I do have a dupe video with this and the P. Louise face. Kind of dupe the two and then um, I do a wear test as well in case you're interested. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my lid. And then I'm just going to go ahead and smudge it out with my finger. going to begin by setting everything with this shade right here called patchouli I'm running this all over my crease area and on my lid i basically just want to set um, the primer in place so um, i'm actually being really messy with it and that is okay now with the exact same brush i'm going to pick up the shade clove which is this peachy shade right here i actually want to play with this purple right here but i also want to play with the cinnamon shade and then this like copper kind of shimmery shadow mm. let me know if you guys want to see like a coppery eye that would be fun but first i'm going to pick up this one and i'm going to begin by placing this on my outer v and then in very tiny small circular motions i'm going to begin by blending this into my crease area exact same brush i'm gonna pick up this shade right here called poppy I'm going to apply that on my outer v as well oh that is so pretty you know what no i'm gonna apply this all over the lid i'm just going to lightly blend it out I'm going to apply some powder underneath of my eyes just in case I do get any type of fallout. I don't have any fallout right now, but you never know, you know? Pick up a Morphe R37 and I'm going to further blend the edges of this shadow out. The Daisy Marquez palette and I'm going to pick up this shade right here called Stunt. It's like a peachy kind of color. Um, it does have shimmer in it. I'm just going to apply it right here. 
mm, like not doing anything. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is also a shimmering shadow, and I'm gonna pick it up with my finger first. And I'm gonna begin by dabbing it in the center. Like a subtle kind of halo eye because it's it I didn't do it like I normally do halo eyes, you know, with like a small brush and intensify the inner and the outer corner. This is more of like a like a subtle one, you know? I want something a little bit more bright, so I'm gonna go into my Veramona highlighter. I'm going to pop some in the center. Oh yes. See what I mean? That highlight is like blinding. Just took it to like a whole nother level. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go in and blend everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and dust away the excess powder right here underneath of my eyes. I didn't really have any fallout, but it's still good to do this, you know? Onto the lower lash line, I'm gonna start by picking up this shade here which is the peachy shade and I'm going to begin by buffing this on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my Morphe E18 brush and I'm going to pick up the shade Poppy which is the darker like magenta kind of color and I'm also going to run this very very close to my lash line okay guys so my camera died but i went ahead and applied some lashes and mascara everything again is in the description box below but now i'm gonna move on to inner corner highlights i don't know if i should put inner corner highlight i kind of don't want to uh, but i am going to apply some highlight on my brow bone you can take some and run it I'm going to apply with whatever is left on my inner corner because I don't really want to brighten that area up but just because we already have a lot going on the eyes, you know? Now we're going to move on to highlighter for the face and for that I'm going to take the exact same one, Veramona Highlighter in the shade Forbidden. And I'm going to take this with, theirs, uh, with their brush. I really like the brush for highlight. And we're going to go ahead and highlight. gonna move on to the lips and I think I want to try this lipstick right here this is the light glam and let's do makeup liquid lipstick that they just came out with this one is in the shade of baby G let's try this one and if not then I'll just change it all right guys and to finish off the look I'm gonna go ahead and set my skin with the Jeffree Star setting spray Guys, and this is it with the lipstick. I don't know if I like everything pink, you know, like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys know I'm not a pink person. So, what if we apply this on top of it? What if we do a nude like, lipstick? What would happen if we apply some of this? What about that? No? Alright guys, and this is the finished and completed look. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm not a pink kind of person, so this is kind of like out of my comfort zone. But I still like it. I still dig the eyes. I just feel like the lips being pink is just a little bit too much for me. You know? But anyways guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so YouTube alerts you when I do upload, which is three times a week, every single week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. The links are in the description box below. I will catch you guys in Wednesday's video. Bye, guys.